Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be update number two on my weight loss surgery journey. So today I had two appointments. I had my psych evaluation and then I had my first supervised weight loss visit. So let's, uh, let's talk. Now I was nervous about the psych evaluation anyways, um, but the guy was nice. A lot of the questions were just things you expect to be asked about your depression, anxiety, um, your past, your family history, etc. Like it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and I thought it was going really, really well and we're like getting towards the end of it. And he tells me that he has a few concerns. Um, one being that I have borderline personality disorder and two that I have four kids. So let's just, let's just unwrap that, shall we? Okay, so I understand why he feels that way about me having borderline. Now, he did say he feels like I have um, like a mild, I'm on like the mild side of the spectrum. Um, if you didn't know, like within years past, borderline is being more um, recognized as a spectrum, uh, kind of like autism, um, because there's so many different variations because there's like nine main symptoms and you could have any different number of combination of them and no two people are alike. Now in the mental health field, uh, I feel like borderline is, I'm not saying it's the most, but I feel like it's one of the most stigmatized mental health conditions. And I understand why to an extent, but at the same time, I don't think well, like, I don't feel like it's fair because like I said, not everyone is the same. So, I mean, I kind of understood because people with borderline, I mean, if you don't really know a lot about borderline, I have two videos on it, I think I'll link down below. Um, but impulsivity is something that people with borderline, some people struggle with. Um, and I do to some extent, but not really. Um, and then there, there's the emotional roller coaster, like several other factors, but I don't feel like I exhibit any symptoms of borderline that would keep me from being a good candidate for surgery. I don't know, I thought that was weird. He didn't say no, um, he just has concerns. But me having kids, like he, I think he meant it as like, you know, to really take care of myself afterwards. Um, but like, not only is Alex here, um, I have my mom, his mom, like if we really needed help, we have it. Um, so I just thought that was kind of weird. But um, I told him that I'm starting therapy and this was something that I was gonna do before I even decided to do weight loss surgery is to get back into therapy. I'm just kind of waiting um, right now because my doctor sent a referral and there's a wait list and I'm just waiting to hear back from them. Now he did say there's a form that he emailed me that my therapist could fill out if, you know, once we get some sessions going and they get to know me, if they feel I'm a good candidate or not, they'll fill out that paper basically letting him know. So hopefully, that goes because well, I was pretty upset afterwards, to be honest. Um, I was like, of all things to keep me from getting this surgery, it's gonna be, it's gonna be my head. Like, I just was super, super upset about it. Um, but I talked to um, the surgeon's physician assistant called me after my appointments to uh, just get some more information. And she's like, I wouldn't worry too much about it. She's like, he just wants some more information. So hopefully she's correct. Um, and hopefully everything goes well with that. Um, then I had my supervised weight loss visit, which they, these were all virtual. Um, they were virtual and the dietitian's one was actually a phone call. Um, but he just took my weight. He, um, asked me how many meals I've been eating. Didn't get too specific with like macros or anything. They just want you to be under 60 cal or 60 calories, 60 carbs a day. And I was like, yeah, I'm usually a lot lower than that. He's like, that's fine. And then I asked, you know, do you guys want me at a certain calorie goal? And he said, no, we just encourage, you know, mindful eating basically. Um, so it was a super short phone call. Now for my first month, so technically we're, we're counting it as October, even though October is not over yet, but the month of October, as far as they're concerned, I lost 13 pounds. My goal for the six month is 20. So I'm more than halfway there. Um, like I've mentioned before, my personal goal um, is 50 or 60. So 
we'll see. And with my BMI, as high as it is, the more I lose, the better. So that's kind of my mindset as well. Um, but yeah, and then the physician's assistant called and we talked about like what insurance requires, which is the six months, the 20 pounds, um, a drug test, a nicotine test. They want to check my thyroid, which my thyroid is checked anyways because of my pregnancy. Um, I never got blood work done after it, so oops. Um, but yeah, I like I said, this like consult has me a little on edge. Hopefully that all goes well. Um, I hope to hear from a therapist soon. I emailed my doctor's office again and I'm like, hey, just making sure you guys sent that referral over um, because I just want to get started. Like, I want this <sighs> so bad. Like, I just want it so bad. Um, but yeah, so my next appointment is November 25th. Um, which will be just a supervised weight loss of it again. Hopefully this month goes well. I am trying to really be more strict with cutting out carbs. And I'm, I'm trying to stop viewing it as a temporary thing because it, it's not going to be temporary really. I mean, I'm not saying I can never have this or that again after surgery, but it's not recommended. Um, so I just need to get in that mindset of this this is my lifestyle now like this it's just how it is if I want to live a long and healthy and happy life you know I gotta cut the bullshit and cut the carbs and it is what it is like it's food like it shouldn't be that big of a deal so I think that's the gist of it um yeah the other few things they asked were about uh, the dietitian asked if I was doing activity um mm. Some things the therapist did say. He said he likes that I'm very self-aware. He said that's good. He said it seems like I've matured a lot over the last few years. Not that he knows me, but just from the information that I gave him. He said it sounds like I've matured quite a bit. And then he liked that I use my Apple Watch um, and things like that. So it, it's not like the appointment with him was negative. I just left it feeling slightly discouraged because I guess I thought he'd be like, all right, you're good to go. Like I'm approving you. I don't know why I thought that. Um, but the good news is I still have another five months to do what I need to do. Like if he suggests anything other than therapy, which I think that's pretty much the main thing he wants me to do. So yeah, that is my little update. Um, I will leave my last two videos in regards to my weight loss surgery down below in case you need to be caught up or anything like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.